Hunter, and welcome to Elite Dangerous. All right, so I've been reading Silent Fox's blog of this game for like ages now. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend. I'm gonna put it in the comments or description down below to his blog. Holy crap, this game sounds so fun, and with Steam Summer Sale going on, why not pick it up and give it a shot? So guys, gals, foxies, let's dive into some Elite Dangerous and see what this whole thing has in store for us. Oh, this, I, this, I think is going to be really, really fun. Thank you, Silent Fox, for all the content you have put out so far. Ooh, this is really, really beautiful. Oh, everything's going on. Uh, make yourself comfortable while we finish some preliminary ship checks. My name's Theo Acosta, and I'll be running your Pilots Federation evaluation. Ooh, cool. Most pilots assigned to me earn their license. So as long as you follow my instructions, you'll be a commander in no time. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Okay. Oh, and uh, before you ask, I may sound like an Imperial, but uh, I'm actually from an independent system. I wonder that matters. We'll be covering the basics of flight control, combat, and frame shift drive use. Okay. This sidewinder has been installed with a specialized computer that'll take control at certain points. Cool. Mostly you'll follow a series of objectives to guide your actions. These are shown in the info panel at the top right of the head of display. Info. Got it. Okay, you're good to go. Select auto launch from the options ahead of you when you're ready. Oh, okay. I'm using WASD to select this. Right, okay. Uh, clickies don't work. Enter. Enter works. No, let's chat. Alright. F? No. Uh. Okay. Controls. Uh, okay. Movement, got it. Okay. Yeah, A, A and D. Okay, that makes sense. Q E is thus left, thus right. R F is up and down. Okay, that makes sense. Divert powers. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well. Oh, wait. Oh, home. Wow, I'm actually going to be utilizing the home key. Okay. Interesting. All right, how do you just, like, select go? W-A-S-D. Oh, space bar. Okay. Space bar. Makes sense. Oh, this is really, really, really beautiful. Auto launch, I think you can relax and enjoy the view. One of the ways that technology allows us to appreciate the good things in life. More ships taking off too. Other applicants are departing for their own evaluations, but this isn't a race. Each of the coming stages can be completed at your own pace. Okay. This is really nice. Now it's three to exit headlock mode. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, mouse leaves the middle mouse button. Pretty, pretty cool. Remarkable, isn't it? Yes. For so long, humanity gazed up at the stars in wonder. We're not distracted by one of Earth's many wars. Ooh, that's now, a big ring system. Between them 
without a second thought. It's like seven. Ah, here we are. Your oh. first task is to demonstrate basic ship movements. Okay. A ship's trajectory is primarily controlled by pitch, yaw, and roll. Perform each of these now. Okay. Ooh. Okay, mouse control kind of makes sense. A is to turn. Good. Now increase your throttle to accelerate forwards. Ooh. Why am I spinning? Oh, that's cool. Decrease the throttle to resume its stationary position. S. X is to zero. Your throttle can also be pulled back from zero to engage reverse thrust. Oh. As before, push the throttle in the opposite direction to cease moving. Inputs confirmed. Looks like you've got the hang of individual controls. Let's see if you can put them all together. I kind of want your to. Next task is to guide your ship through a series of checkpoints. Disinf desensitize my mouse. I wonder how I can control it for this. Hmm. The course weaves through an orbital structure and is designed for the novice pilot. Oh? Oh yeah, this is a little bit way too sensitive. Okay. Yeah. Let's drop that down a little bit and see how if we like it. Fly through the center of the first oh yeah, that's a little bit better. You'll notice that they change color as you fly through them. And we're off. There's no time limit, so maintain a comfortable speed while you familiarize yourself with the controls. Okay. Oh, I don't like how we spin so much. Rolling and pitching together is the most efficient way of turning rapidly. Ooh. Yeah, again, these controls are going to be a little hectic. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. Ooh. It's good practice to consider the angle and speed of your approach. See the blue marker beside the throttle gauge? Yes. This indicates the optimum turning speed. I don't even need to hold the controls if I don't want to. Oh, that's interesting. Dottles, I don't even need to control. It'll just control itself. Oh. I'm already lost. If you feel like you aren't in full control, zero your throttle and take a moment to get your bearings. All right, so I want to go up. Oh, not down. Oh, good lord. There you go. Okay, found it. Found it. You're approaching a particularly sharp turn, so I advise slowing down to prevent any. Okay, in these like con this mouse control, yeah.
Okay, let's see if this helps. Oh, I'm spinning like crazy. Hey, we got that turn though. Oh god. Ugh, I hope you guys are not motion sick. That was nice. Oh! Your ship's boost function greatly increases your speed, but use it wisely. I did? I crashed like twice. A new icon has appeared on the sensor display in the center of your dashboard. This represents a nearby beacon, which you'll soon scan as part of your evaluation. Target the beacon before we continue. You're going to use your ship's data link scanner to analyze the beacon, but you need to deploy hard points first. You? Ooh! Okay, so approach the beacon. Got it. Watch your speed here. We intend to scan the object, not become one with it. You can scan the beacon now. Ah, hold it down. Well done. The data link scanner is a versatile tool that connects with network interfaces and various data points. You need to move to another area of this star system to continue your assessment, pilot. Rather than travel for the next year using your thrusters, you can employ the ship's frameshift drive to increase your speed by a few orders of magnitude. First, ensure that the ship is correctly secured. Your landing gear, cargo scoop, and hardpoints must all be retracted. Oh. Okay. When you're ready, throttle up and engage Super Cruise. J is super cruise. Oh, good lord. Okay. Okay. One late, one year. Oh, my God. Good. This is a good time to familiarize yourself with a couple of the cockpit panels available to you. Okay. In the top left of your HUD is the comms panel, which yes. displays pilot communications and contacts across several channels. The top right is your info panel. Entries here mostly relate to your ship's status, computer messages, and events happening around you. Got it. Oh. Cool. This is light speed. I guess, yeah, the lights, the stars, or whatever is moving past us. Oh, this is combat training. Oh, good lord. Watch the distance and speed markers on the dashboard. These are used to help you accurately disengage at your destination. Oh, we're heading to a different planet. Okay. And mobile targets will be provided around the decommissioned megaship. We'll also cover some situational information about weaponry and target tracking. That's a cool looking planet. Yes. You'll get to shoot those weapons you saw earlier. Awesome. I like that. 
Oh, that's a planet. Or a moon, actually, I would assume. And my ship's decelerating by itself. Astronomical Ooh. bodies have a gravitational effect on the FSD, reducing your ship's speed. The closer the body, the greater the effect. Cool. Oh, Lord. The brake shift drive is disengaged. Welcome to the combat zone. Before you start shooting, however, try analyzing the mega ship with a data link scanner. Target the mega ship. Scanning. Rama class bulk cargo ship. So how do you fire the secondary? Oh, it's a auto can. I actually have to hold Try it. targeting the canister you're aiming at. Oh, I hit it. Oh god, I'm spinning like waste. I don't want to spray. Oh god, that's gonna be a little sick. Optional R to apply upward thrust. Oh. Oh. Am I hitting the thing? I am. Ooh, cool. Oh god. Back to spinning. Oh god. White what? Oh. Oh god. Stop spin. Stop spin. Oh lord, this is gonna make me really, really, really sick. Why are you let's dial up the challenger now, shall we? Sure. Oh god. Oh. Well, this is a little bit more intuitive. God, uh. Did I just really pull that off? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, a 
should stop moving there for a second. Oh, okay. The gun auto fires. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. I auto targeting. Wee. Okay. Okay, so I'm slowly stop spinning. Your final target has dropped into the area. This time your opponent okay. will fight back, but its damage capability has been greatly reduced. That's your target will not react until it registers shield damage. Engage when ready. Okay, I think I got this. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting this. I think I'm getting this, you guys. If anything. This is really fun. Even if you're planning on a peaceful career, understanding the basics of combat is vital for a pilot's survival. Oh, okay, cough. Let's go. Okay, yeah, uh, this is fun. Once I get over like the movements and I slowly get a hang of flying, not bad. Not bad. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh my. Oh, I like it. I like the graphics of this game. It's really beautiful. Oh, Lord, that's a star. It's a really bright star. Technology has made the task of leaping between star systems appear trivial. Never let the simplicity distract from the marvel humanity has achieved. Yeah. Your next stop is Quello Station. This time we'll employ the Supercruise Assist module to guide your approach. That's so cool. External interface panel to your left and select the navigation tab. To your left. Okay. One. Oh. Highlight the starport in the location list and then select Super Cruise Assist. It's the second option. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it tells you everything you want to know. Oh. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. I do like this. Good. Your ship is now bound for Quello Station. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Okay. Okay. Let's take a moment to review the interface panels either side of your chair. Okay. Well, the I have a microphone. Meanwhile, the internal panel displays information about you and your ship. 
Oh. Hey, there's ours. Cool. <laughs> oh, I thought that said hold me. No, it's hollow me. Okay. I'm mostly helpless. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm very much helpless. <laughs> New pilots often wonder what their first step into the galaxy should be. Not dying? The pilot's handbook is a great source of help in this regard. It details a variety of professions and how to outfit your ship for them. The handbook also offers advice on various ship functions that aren't covered in this evaluation. Cool. You can find the pilot's handbook in the codex, accessible on the home screen via the internal interface panel. So four. The trails moving around. Ah. Your ship is also emitting one. The position of each correlates with their respective sensor display icons. I can't change anything. In a moment, we'll be going through the docking process. This will cover docking. Well, that's a cool planet. It's like a dead launch. planet. Time, travel. It definitely feels a lot like No Man's Sky. We have a lot of travel between places, aren't we? I think the answer is going to be yes. Yes, we will. Oh, cool. Welcome to Quillo Station. This is the final stretch. You'll dock here shortly, but I'd like you to position your ship near the starboard's access corridor first. Starboards are the backbone of humanity's operations throughout inhabited space. They provide mission boards, the commodities market, a number of specialized contacts, and various ship facilities. Most pilot business is conducted via the Starport Services interface. I recommend familiarizing yourself with this screen when docked. Got it, boss. Good. Ease off the throttle and hold position here. Oh, and try not to block the access corridor. Yeah, I bet a lot of people don't we'll like that. The docking computer for this landing. Of course, but practice in a training simulation first. Oh, is that wheel moving? No, the station's Whichever moving. Oh, that's use, all ships confusing. Seek docking permission before approaching a landing pad. So cool, though. To request docking permission, open your external interface panel and select the contacts tab. Then select Quello Station in the list, followed by request docking in the information. Oh. Panel. Oh. Oh shit! I'm moving the ship. Oh, thank you. You've been assigned landing pad three. The compass will point towards your designated pad. Ships need to be within 7.5 kilometers of a starport for a docking request to be considered. I like the music. Hopefully this is, that does not get banned on YouTube. Hopefully it does not. Oh, oh, this is perfect. This is really cool. I like this. I like this. I do like how it like has a time counter, like ten minutes till something. Like the pad is saved for us. A docking computer will now demonstrate a safe landing procedure. Let's review what it's doing. Okay. Landing gear must be deployed. The related dashboard indicator lights up if this has been done. Landing gear deployed. Cool. Cool. Yeah, we mostly In definitely moment, have to mute the music. The display will switch to the precision approach display, which helps you accurately set belly down on the landing pad. Well, it's going to be top down. Oh, oh. Nice. We just need to finalize your credentials. Enter the hangar to exit this evaluation. Okay, select enter hangar to complete assignment. All right. Oh, that's chat. Select. It's time to blaze your own trail across the galaxy. The manner in which you do so 
Cool. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, Commander. Name's permanent. Oh. Okay. Should we go Zell? Sure. Commander Zell. Sorry in use. Okay then. Back to our show name, Hunts. If that's in use, I'll be freaking shocked. I would be shocked. All right, we have two packages. Um. Sure, new commander. That's a cool looking ship, the Sidewinder. Okay. Enter our ship's name. Uh, Zellius? Zell? You're ready. Your license is ready for registration. Cool. Loading the game. Trade risks. Ooh, okay. It's risk to trading. Well, that makes sense. Welcome to your new ship, Commander. Your pilot's Federation license has been issued, and you're free to traverse the galaxy as an independent pilot. Cool. Yes. Almost all pilots will use the mission board at some stage. A contract has been assigned to you. Active missions are displayed in the transactions tab of the external interface panel. This time you'll need to travel to Mawson Dock in the Dromey system. Can we just come there? These destinations are the navigation screen of the external interface panel. If you'd like to practice your journey first, I recommend the training simulations accessed via the internal interface panel. Okay. To review what we've discussed, select your comms panel and scroll through the recorded text. I'll contact you at Mawson Dock if you decide to complete this mission. If you choose to take a different path, then I wish you luck, Commander. So that point, we will get to on the next episode. I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are too. But we're going to end the first episode here. It's time to start our first mission. We've gone through the introduction. I went insane with piloting because, oh my god, fireworks are going off, so it's a good time to end today. Let's go check out some fireworks. Happy 4th of July to all my American buddies because this is recorded on, of course, July 4th. But till next time, you all be amazing. See you later, alligators. Peace.